Hey, Nate. How's life? I don't know. It's all right. I've been dealing with some things like every human being and really didn't sleep much last night. I'm sorry. That's fine. I just think I need a little me time. I just think I need a little free time. A little break from the shows and the bus rides. Yeah. Last year I had a breakdown. Thoughts telling me I'm lost, getting too loud. Had to see a therapist and I found out. Something funny's going on up in my house. Yeah, I started thinking maybe I should move out. You know, pack my car, take a new route. Clean up my yard, get the noose out. Hang up my heart, let it air out. Air out. I've been searching. What does that mean, Nate? I've been learning. Grabbing my keepsakes, leaving my burdens. Well, I brought a few with me. I'm not perfect. Looking at the view like... This concerns me, picking up the cues, right? I'm quite nervous, hating when I lose sight Life gets blurry and things might hurt me It's probably gonna be a long journey, but hey, It's worth it though, cold world out there Kids, grab your coat, it's been a minute I know Now I'm back to Rome, looking for the antidote To crack the cold, pretty sure that I admit it I'm in classic mode, the only pity given to me But I can't condone, talking down to me I'ma have to crack your nose for cracking jokes I'm looking for the map to hope, you see that? Been making a whole lot of changes Wrote a song about that, you should play it I get scared when I walk on these stages, I look at the crowd and see so many faces yeah that's when i start to get anxious that's when my thoughts can be dangerous that's when i put on my makeup and drown in self-hatred forget what i'm saying and where the beat go oh ain't that some drums came in you ain't see that coming hands on my head can't tell me nothing got a taste of the fame it upon my stomach throw it back up like i don't want it wipe my face clean up my vomit ocd trying to push my buttons i said don't touch it now y'all done it i can be critical never typical it's Every syllable, I'm a criminal Intimate but never political, pretty visual Even if you hate it, I make you feel like you're in it though You call me what you want, but never call me forgettable Leave you deep in thought, I can never swim in the kiddie pool Wait it, I've been thinking the cinematic is beautiful Man, I don't know if I'm making movies or music videos Videos, videos Yeah, the sales can rise, doesn't mean much though When your health declines See, we've all got something that we trapped inside That we try to suffocate, you know, hoping it dies Try to hold it underwater, but it always survives And it comes up out of nowhere like an evil surprise And it hovers over you to tell you millions of lies You don't relate to that? Must not be as crazy as I am The point of Thinking is the mind is a powerful place And what you feed it can affect you in a powerful way It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, but it's not always safe Just hang with me, this will only take a moment, okay? Just think about it for a second If you look at your face Every day when you get up and think you'll never be great You'll never be great Not because you're not, but the hate Will always find a way to cut you up and murder your faith Woo! I've been developing, take a look at the benefits Nothing to matter with, I can never be delicate Am I even relevant? That depends on you measure it Take a measurement to back it up and give me the evidence Pretty evident, dependable, can never be tentative I'm a gentleman, depending on if I think you're genuine Pretty elegant, but not afraid to tell you to get it Better grab your balloons and invite your friends See, bounce back on, yeah, strap them in Look at me, everybody, I'm smiling big On a road right now that I can't predict Tell me, tone that down, but I can't resist Y'all know that sound, better raise your fist The search begins, I'm back, so enjoy the trip Huh?
if you smell what the rock is cooking. The rock says, the rock, the rock, the rock says. Which is the Elimination Chamber. Which came at you on February the 21st, 2021. From Tropicana Field, once again, due to a certain pandemic known as COVID-19. Now, before we go into uh, matches and start discussing them, there is one key element that needs to be uh, debated here and discussed. And that is? Something Adam Pearce took advantage of at the Royal Rumble. And that is every WWE show comes under the preference of card subject to change. And there were a few changes made to uh, this uh, card, starting with one match being cancelled altogether. Yes, the match in question, it was supposed to be Asuka versus Lacey Evans for the Raw Women's Championship. Yes, after... Aligning himself with Lacey Evans, Rick Frey had managed to get Asuka a championship match, get Lacey Evans a championship match with Asuka after causing the disqualification in a match with Charlotte. Yes. However, the week after this, in a tag team match between Charlotte and Lacey Evans and Peyton Rice. It was revealed that Lacey Evans is pregnant. Not in storyline, but legit, but legitimately pregnant. And it... Why is it that for the second time in two years, a pregnancy has revolved around Asuka? I don't know. First it was Becky, and now it's Lacey. Which means Asuka has the night off. 
Because he has nine rounds plus not. <laughs> so that for a while this match was still being advertised. So initially we suspected that they were gonna do the match and just have someone replace Lacey in the match. Like and for example, Peyton Ross. Then Lacey it, then it came out that the match would not be happening altogether. Yes. Also, in the tweak to the original planned match, and this takes us into the uh, pre-show match, there was a triple threat match scheduled to take place for the United States Championship, in which Bobby... Oh, yeah. In which Bobby Lashley would defend against Matt Riddle, or Riddle as he's now known as, and Keith Lee. However, Keith Lee seems to be struggling with a few uh, injury issues caused back when Lashley was able to put them in the hurt lock. And was separate and was pulled from the triple fed match. Then on the pre show, there was a fatal four way match between John Morrison, Elias, Mustafa Ali, the leader of Retribution, and Ricochet, in which the winner would be added to the United States Championship match. So, this was a fun little match, considering who was in it. Yes. However, it was... But Retribution, the kind of buzzed the end into this match, but not in the way that a certain person would hope that they would. Yes, Retribution got involved in the near the ending of this match. Look, practically, yes, Ricochet would attempt to take out the members of Retribution that were at ringside. Which were Ace, T-Bar and Slapjack. Only to be caught by a verb. Mustafa Ali is groating through the ropes, allowing John Morton to uh, lower him up and secure the pinfall and start at the United States Championship, which is, a, is for one championship, not including the two world titles, which has eluded John Morton in both of his runs in WWE. Yes, this was considerable difference. Yes, this was an elimination chamber match, not for the Universal Championship, but the winner of the elimination chamber match would then immediately challenge Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship, because that's fair. But then again, Roman Reigns is head of the table. No, oh, I'm head of the table. He thinks he is. In the pods, we had King Corbin, Zami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and Jey Uso. Starting the match, match, we had Daniel Bryan and Cesaro. The uh, current tag team partners. Well, I wouldn't call them tag team partners, but... First to be... Entering, entered into the match from the pod, at least from the pod and into the match was Kate Corbin. He, Next, he entered 
next after him was conspiracy theorist Zami Zayn. Now, before the next person was uh, entered into the match, King Corbin was eliminated via the sharpshooter by Cesaro. Kevin Owens was then released into the match and would eliminate Sami Zayn with a stunner. Sami Zayn has been eliminated. However, things got a little bit interesting when Sami uh, Zayn was exiting the chamber. Yes. Jay Uso would wake the eyes of uh, Kevin Owens that the chamber door on his arm. Ouch. Ouch. And would beat down Kevin Owens, nailing him with a super kick, and then they splash back into a ring. Meaning that Kevin Owens was next to be eliminated. Kevin Owens has been eliminated. <laughs> After the, then they came down to Cesaro, Jey Uso, and Daniel Bryan. They, yes. they were going at it for about five minutes. Something like that. When yet again, with a uh, splash, Cesaro got eliminated by Jey Uso. Cesaro has been eliminated. Jey Uso would attempt to go for another splash onto uh, Daniel Bryan. Only Daniel Bryan would be able to get his knees up. Managed to get it to his feet. Hit the leather knees. Pin Jey Uso. And a win the match. Yes. A very now, this would then cause Roman Reigns to come out looking all pleased of himself as he does. Yes, he didn't have to take part in the chamber match. Then we, they get to he gets to the ring. Brian somehow manages to uh, make it back to his feet. After Reigns for in the bell, Reigns goes for a spear, but is cantered into the yes floor. This will only piss off Roman Reigns. Yeah, that, that being the understatement. And after some uh, punches back and forth. Reigns would uh, get the guillotine, choke onto Daniel Bryan, pass out, and uh, Reigns would retain the title by a technical submission. So, so Roman Reigns is still your universal champion. However, Reigns' past would then come back to haunt him. Because on the episode of SmackDown before the Elimination Chamber, there would be a situation, there would be a six person tag team match featuring the faces of the Chamber match taking on the heels of the Chamber match. The Royal Rumble winner Edge was on commentary for this. When, uh, after the match, we saw spear after spear after spear being hit, and heads to be hit with a spear by Roman Reigns. So, after beating Daniel Bryan, 
Roman Reigns is in wonderful corners holding up the uh, championship. Gets back down. Turns around. And is hit with a spear on his own right by Edge. From out of nowhere. And then... The WrestleMania sign is pointed to. Pretty much confirming what we were saying was going to happen. What, that, uh... You think you know me? On this day, I see clearly that the WrestleMania main event is now set. <laughs> Very well done. Very well done, Vince Rock, Jane. Very well done. It is, whilst it was and 100% confirmed at the time, later on in the evening, the match was set at WrestleMania. Edge will challenge Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. Roman can get by fast lane as champion, which Edge takes it, he probably will. Yes, sir. Uh, you remember us talking about that United States Championship match, qualifying match that he had? Well, it's now time for the United States match. Yes, because. Uh, but the CEO of the head business Bobby Lashley. takes on Prince Petty, John Morrison, and the original Bro. Ian Riddle, otherwise known as Matt Riddle. Now, what do you say here? For the most part, this match was dominated by uh, Bobby Lashley. Was. Finally, John Wilson and Riddle managed to team up a while on uh, Lashley. <laughs> However, the deciding factor of this was someone playing a very specific game and taking advantage of the triple threat rules. Yes. You remember, in a triple threat match, there's no countdowns, no disqualifications, and the champion does not have to be involved in the final submission to lose the title. Well, a, a few days earlier, in the tag team match that took place on Raw, it was came out that uh, MVP was injured, so he comes to the ring on crutches. Yes. So... Bobby Lashley manages to get uh, John Morrison into the herd lock. And whilst it looks like uh, Don Morrison might uh, submit. Matt Riddle grabs MVP's crutch, nails Lashley with it. This, do you mean nailed? this causes Lashley to uh, get outside of go outside of a ring for a while. Riddle then performs with blow direct onto John Lawson and gets a free count, making Riddle the new United States champion and leaving Bobby Lashley very pissed off. Um, yeah, that's definitely a mistake, but that means now that Riddle has just won his first singles championship in WWE. Next, we move on to the Women's Tag Team Championship match. And Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax defend their titles against a very unlikely team 
of Sasha Banks and the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair. Now, it is very likely that that team will end up facing each other for the SmackDown Women's Championship at WrestleMania. Yeah. And for some bizarre reason, Reginald has been included in this. Uh, yes. Um, he, he, we at the Wrestling Talk Show don't understand what is going on with that. <laughs> Unless they're subtly trying to tease that... Uh, Reginald is going to turn on Sasha or Bianca and get involved in the match of WrestleMania as one of them's manager or something. Uh, no, or, or tease or, or betray Carmella, who knows? But this was a relatively decent match. Not a lot to say about tag team action. Then, at the uh, towards the end of the match, Reginald would come down to the ring with uh, with a bottle of champagne to give us a bank in an attempt to use as a weapon. Yes. Lots of referee was uh, distracted. However, this would backfire. Because this was allowed Nia Jax to perform a Samoan trap onto Sasha Banks and in full to retain the uh, Women's Tag Team Championships. So now we move on to what was originally the main event. Chamber match for the WWE Champion. Yes, this was Drew McIntyre and then against five former WWE Champions in AJ Styles, Jeff Hardy, Kofi Kingston, Randy Orton, and Sheamus. Now, it had already been decided. That uh, Seamus would be the last person to enter this match. Yeah. However, uh, starting the match, we had Jeff Hardy and Randy Orton. Yes. Next, then we had Drew McIntyre enter the match third. And this is where things got, let's just say, a little bit uh, interesting. Yes, because fourth into the match was Kofi Kingston. And pra practically as soon as he got into the match, Kofi Kingston managed to eliminate Randy Orton with a low run. Randy Orton. And then this got this got uh, Randy very pissed off, and he would hit an RKO on Kofi Kingston and Jeff Hardy before leaving. Now, bear in mind, at this point, AJ Styles is not legally in the match. As you two leaving Kofi Kingston and Jeff Hardy motionless in the ring, AJ Styles decides to tell Omos to break open his pot from the outside using the brass so that uh, AJ Styles can enter the match early through the chamber's main door. Now, Kofi Kingston and Jeff Hardy would survive the attempted pin by uh, AJ Styles, and WWE official Adam Pearce would come out and eject almost from uh, inside. Pretty 
much in uh, in what was a very weak show of strength by Mark Break in the final one. You say that, but it's sort of like that it was gimmicked. Then, Seamus would uh, be the last person to enter the match, as we said. Then we had Seamus eliminate Kofi Kingston with a bro kick. Kofi Kingston has been eliminated. After Jeff Hardy performed a swanton bomb on AJ Styles, McIntyre would eliminate Hardy with a Claymore. Jeff Hardy has been eliminated. AJ Styles would hit Famous with a phenomenal forearm. Yes. Allowing him. Seamus to be pinned by Styles. Seamus has been eliminated. And just as AJ Styles was going for a phenomenal forearm to Drew McIntyre, he is nailed with a claymore in midair. So, the winner of the match and still WWE Champion Drew McIntyre. However, Finns would not end there as we should as we explain this rewind to something we saw before the match took place yes. in between the women's tag team championship match and the start of the elimination chamber match in a quick shot backstage we see MVP talking to the Miz with his money in the bank briefcase in his hand. So, after Drew McIntyre survives the Elimination Chamber match, the Chamber rises up, and McIntyre is beard by Bobby Lashley. Literally out of nowhere. And attacked through a crosser inside. Then he's put into the hurt lock. Allowing the Miz to come running down with a referee. And unlike, T- unlike TLC, this time he is the person Ashton in the briefcase, and whilst Lashley goes backstage, Miz hits McIntyre with a DVT for the near two count, then performs the skull crushing finale for a three count to win his second. WWE Championship in nearly 10 years after his first one and his second as a Money in the Bank cash in. Yes. So. The Miz is now the number two WWE Champion. However, you may not be holding it for long. No. Because on Monday Night's Raw, when he comes out and brags about he's the champion, he's all this, blah de blah de blah. As you'd expect. Good business comes out and basically says how uh, he forgot to mention a little deal that uh, they struck. You see, Bobby Lashley blames. John Morrison for losing the United States Championship. And who is John Morrison's tag team partner? The Miz. So, a deal was struck that if Bobby Lashley helps The Miz 
cash in money in the bank, he will get a WWE Championship match. Let's just say the Miz did not really like this and tried to get out, tried to get out of it in every which way possible. However, he was given a one hour time frame to make his decision. Was. And when that time frame was up, with Adam Pierce out there, we had Lashley and Miz. M- Miz was not a chance to compete. Miz, Miz was like, I'll give you your match, I just need more time. This would then prompt Braun Strowman to come out, who's, who's yes. apparently feeling better after being in, even with his blood infection. Infection that he has. Then, this would then cause Shane McMahon to come out, because Strowman did not like the fact that he wasn't in the Elimination Chamber match. The match with four former champions, WWE champions, not Universal champions, were on title then, it's the... And then a match was made between Bobby Lashley and Braun Strowman, where if Strowman won, he would be added to a WWE championship match, which will take place next week on Raw. Oh, so on three days. So, what this me and Bobby Lashley would win the match after kicking out of the uh, Power Slam. So, on Monday's episode of Raw, The Miz will defend the WWE Championship against Bobby Lashley. However, there is a certain pissed off Scott the psychopath is likely to get involved in this decision. Yes, and his name is Drew McIntyre. So things continue to build up slain and more importantly WrestleMania. So let us run you through the match card one more time. In the pre show match John Morrison defeated Elias, Mustafa Ali, and Ricochet to be added to the United States Championship match on the main card. On the main card, Daniel Bryan defeated Cesaro, Jey Uso, Kevin Owens, King Corbin, and Sami Zayn to become the number one contender to the Universal Championship, but then lost against Roman Reigns for Roman Reigns to retain the Universal title. Riddle would defeat Bobby Lashley and John Morrison to uh, win the United States Championship in the championship match. Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler retained their women's tag team title against the SmackDown Women's Champion Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair. Uh, Drew McIntyre would successfully defend the WWE Championship against AJ Styles, Jeff Hardy, Kofi Kingston, Randy Orton and Sheamus only to lose it to The Miz who cast in the Money in the Bank contract. So now that does it for our Elimination Chamber Brioche show. The first, the first Brioche show in a while actually. We shall be back with you in three weeks for uh, a WWE pay-per-view, which will be the fast lane to WrestleMania. However, if you want, if you can't wait that long, we shall be back with you next week, where we will switch companies. Yeah. So until then, he's been. He's for and he's been. Sean Randy Smith, and we'll see you next time.